Okay, so quick demo of Chat Llama GUI current situation. Clone it from GitHub, and I'm on a Mac silicon chip. So my situation is a little bit different than everyone else's, right? Yep. Okay, so I open up the thing. However, I open up programs. And then I'm going to run the requirements .gxd, which isn't here yet, but it will be. In a virtual environment? Probably. It yeah. can be. Can be, yeah, whatever, probably should. So create a virtual environment. Yeah, probably. Create a virtual environment, Python 3-n, then, then llama, whatever. Activate it, and then run the Python R requirements txt run it and now open up what config JSON yeah okay so chat config is if you're not running it locally if you are running it locally go here and then if you're on a Mac or you're running on CPU 8-bit and quant to false false And there will also be a, another parameter added called use FP32. And if you're on Mac, you're going to want that set to true. True. Yep. Okay. Something like that. Okay. Cool. Otherwise, you would do true, true, or true, false, false, true. Yeah. Um. So if you've already quantized your model to 4-bit or... 3-bit, 2-bit, whatever, um, then you would use use quants, but otherwise you'd normally probably use the 8-bit so you can fit more parameters and more memory. Use long-term memory, false? Uh, yeah, that depends. If you use long-term memory, that's a very good point. Um, if you use long-term memory, you need to have QDRAN running, which is a, it's a vector DB, and you can just... Uh, go to their website and they got easy instructions on how to spin up a Docker container. And if you have that Docker container running, you're good to go and you can use your long-term memory. Everybody loves hearing you can go read the documentation. So after you've set these normal things, you're gonna run launch GUI.py. And it's going to download the models, which takes like an eon. Um, I already have them downloaded. And then when you see the bat signal, which I just disappeared right there, um, say a chant, and then click it, and then Surfy will launch. All right, so quickly explain text-to-speech. If you click this and you have an API key to 11 labs, then you can hear people talk in funky accents or some shit, right? Yeah, that's the gist of it. Cool. Or if you have an API key to Surf Tortoise coming soon. Prompt, type in your prompts, click send. Record is what? Record your voice. Um, that uses, so um, OpenAI has open sourced a model called Whisper that is a uh, speech to text. And so it, it uses a local version of Whisper and does speech to text. Whisper. But I don't have it installed, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. <you're laughs> <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> so then web search. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, nice. It's listening. Web search. Click this. Some things come up. You can write your query in here. And you say set time to none. Yeah, um, the time thing. Um, that, like if you're searching a person or something like that or an entity, you're probably going to want to set the time to none or 
the results usually aren't that good. Okay, and if you want to see what that looks like, you can click format, and this is what it pulls back. From DuckDuckGo. About LinkedIn, YouTube, whatever. About LinkedIn, YouTube. It's a little bit out of order, I guess, but it's close. Okay. Web search and summarize. Yeah, so what that does is it does a web search, but then it uses another instance of the model without any of the short-term or long-term memory, so just like a blank slate, and it's told to summarize the web search, and then it brings back the summarized web search instead of just injecting the raw web search into the context. Cool. PDF summary. And the, cita the citations equals false thing, um, that's uh, specific to the web search to summarize. That's for if you want um, the results that come back with citations in them. Mm -hmm. PDF summarize. Yeah, PDF summarize. So that one takes a link to a PDF, and then it will recursively summarize it. Any link? To, as long as it's a PDF, yeah. So the Odyssey. If it's in a PDF, yeah. Bet you it is. Um, and okay. And you can take Serpy on a date by clicking this button. <laughs> uh, and the other ones, I guess, are kind of uh, obvious. Let's see. Manage conversations shows you a history of the convos you've had. Manage prompts allows you to change the tone, etc. I'd click it, but like a dumbass. I clicked send and I'm running on CPU, so it doesn't really work that well. Um, unless you're running on local GPU or cloud GPU. So I can't click on anything else. Well, I guess I could just force quit and do it. Maybe. Yes. Yeah, nice. All right, remember, wait for the signal. Chant. Does it come up if you're already just waiting on the desktop? Don't know that. It should be up. I think he's playing around for home. Okay. Exciting. Manage conversations. Boom. Manage prompts. Skadoosh. Debate coach. Oh yeah, dentist. I've always wanted more conversations. <laughs> <laughs> With <the> dentist. dentist. <laughs> and then Wolfram is for math people or something. Yeah, basically. <laughs> meth heads or math heads, something. Great. <laughs> then uh, everything else you can fuck around with and use. Yeah, and more will be coming, like um, the chat action tool use stuff. Cool. But we also have a, a Node GUI dropping soon, so it's probably where the bulk of that stuff will go. Fantastic. Do you want to say anything? Nope. All right. Hasta Luigi.